see what our total assets are, see what our total liabilities are, and, and make some quick comparisons as we would do with the financial statements with just this trial balance. Note that most textbooks were actually going to introduce the trial balance before we introduce the general ledger. Why? Because the trial balance is a lot easier to look at, right? It's a lot easier to look at the trial balance, even though if we think about the normal systematic format, we look, we do the trial balance after we do the general ledger, the trial balance being constructed from the ending balances of here, the general ledger. But it's going to be easier to look at so we want to look at that first. In practice, note that the trial balance will typically be constructed by a computer system as we enter data into the computer system. And a lot of times then, in that format, we're, we're looking at the end result, the trial balance, or even the financial statements, and we typically want to go back in time. For example, if I want to know how we got to the 6,160 in the, in the cash account, if I'm saying, hmm, that looks too high, or that looks too low, then we oftentimes in that situation say we've already constructed the trial balance and then go back to the detail and say let's see the detail and to the general ledger how is this ending number created where am i where is my thinking going wrong and me thinking that this balance is too high or too low and we go back and find that detail so that's another way we can we can kind of consider where the trial balance lies it's it's used in order to construct the data it's done from the general ledger when considering it from a, practic a practice standpoint in terms of how is a company doing. Oftentimes we start from the end trial balance, the ending balances, and then we can think about looking backwards to that general ledger. Note that the trial balance is a great cheat sheet, meaning if you can have a cheat sheet for any kind of exams or anything like that, or when you're just practicing with problems, you want to start off with a trial balance as a good cheat sheet because even if it's not related to the problem that you are on, it will give you a lot of information, meaning it lists all the accounts. So if you're picking some of these accounts that you may not really know, such as unearned revenue, it's kind of a, an account that takes a little while for most people to get. And not only get in terms of I've now I know what unearned revenue is, I've heard it a few times, but then is it a debit or credit balance often a question we don't really know until but we can find it by looking at the trial balance we can see here that it's in the credit side it's going to be a credit balance and and the trial balance therefore is a great cheat sheet to have so i highly highly recommend getting used to a trial balance and having it in front of you whenever working any problems it'll tell you what the normal balances are for many accounts when working with smaller problems, especially like multiple choice questions, they're not going to give you uh, enough information as you would have in real life, meaning in real life you would have access to a trial balance typically. In a book problem, you will not. And so therefore, if you can get one in front of you, I highly, highly recommend doing that. Note the key component of the trial balance being that the total assets equal the total, uh, I mean, sorry, the total debits equal the total expenses, which is the trial balance format, the debit and credit format of the accounting equation with a double entry accounting system of assets equal liabilities plus equity. So if assets equal liabilities plus equity, then it must be that total debits and total credits will be equal for all accounts involved. So we broke this out in terms of debits and credits. We can also do very quick calculations, meaning if I, especially if I'm in Excel, I can just highlight these numbers in Excel and add them up, give me total assets. I can highlight these numbers, add them up, give me total liabilities. I can subtract the revenue minus the expenses and get the net income very quickly. I can just uh, add up the total equity and get those numbers very quickly. We can actually maneuver around the trial balance a lot quicker than even the financial statements if it's formatted well and if it's in Excel, even, even faster. Uh, the reason we're gonna convert these to financial statements is because we're trying to convert it to something where people don't know debits and credits. But if you know debits and credits, this is actually a lot more versatile in many ways than actually the financial statements. You can basically pull a lot more information a bit quicker in, in this format sometimes than 